Hello to the gamers. I'm ahead on Super Auto Pets. You know what that means. I get to play some Balatro. Balatro. It's the poker roguelite. Heavily, heavily synergistic. Heavily mathematical driven. Heavily multiplication driven. Heavily uh, gamed by Hafu. She got like a 17 billion point hand or something in the tournament that they ran for Balatro. Uh, we're, uh, we're, there's no special occasion except that the demo came out late last week and I'm ahead on Super Auto Pets. So we're going to play a little bit ourselves here. Why not start with the blue deck? I would be remiss right at the top of this if I did not let you know there are earlier Balatro videos you can watch in order to understand what's going on. But basically, we are trying to build uh, poker hands that score enough points to beat levels. Every Listen, I'll give you the quickest rundown of all time. Look, you draw eight cards every turn, at least with this deck. You have this many hands to play to reach this many points. You can also discard with no penalty this many times. Uh, and... Here is the value of hands. You can see if you get a straight flush, you get 800 right off the bat. Plus, you get more uh, blue, which of course then gets multiplied by red for the face, uh, the, the value of the card. So face cards are worth 10 and, you know, an 8 is worth 8, for example, uh, as you might expect. The rest of it you'll figure out, I'm sure. So right here, we're playing two of a kind. We could also toss one extra card now that I think about it. That was not two of a kind, by the way. I think my brain is broken. That was two pair. I guess it is two of a kind as long as the kind is pair. We need a hundred more points. We have seven, eight, nine, ten, plus a six behind it. That makes us straight and we're good to go. Uh, the other thing I was going to say is I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you to wishlist Balatro. It comes out later in February. Uh, every demo has expanded the game increased uh, the vibes. I'm enjoying this as a vibe-based roguelite. I'm not doing all the mathematics myself. Go check it. I'll put a link in the description and you can figure it out for yourself. Be notified when it comes out. It does, to me, it feels like 2024's hot roguelite as of right now. I'm willing to go N-O-T-T -T for that. That's blanks on the table. Okay, check this out. Times 0 0.25 molt for every blind. Skip this run. I want to give this a try. If we skip this blind, we get a free Mega Arcana pack. It also raises your Malt. And we get to choose two cards. Two Tarot cards. Convert cards to Diamonds, make it easier to get Flushes. Destroy two cards, thin your deck. Creates two more Tarot cards. Doubles your money. Not that effective here, unfortunately. I wish it were. Two cards become Malt cards. They give us extra Multiplier. Uh, I'm a big believer right now. Let's take the Emperor. And... And it uses right away. Okay. Which means that we need to use one of these at least. Let's also use Judgment, which gives us a random Joker. The Joker is plus one molt per hand played, minus one molt per discard. We got a molt driven run, boys. Turn one card into a glass card. That means like after you play it, there's a chance that it'll break. Which can be good for getting like low value cards out of your deck. So you know what? I will use it. Uh, and I'll use it on my one of my twos. It also makes that two more valuable. And then we get one more card. Um, I mean, diamonds is kind of easy. It's The way I think about it is like destroying cards, you can screw up your deck. Because once you're in the actual game, you may not mouse over and be like, oh, how many twos do I have left? Like you're fishing for a third two or something, but you don't realize you've destroyed two of them as is. It's hard to screw up by just making like more cards into the same suit, as long as you kind of pick a lane and just run with it. So sure. Let's make three more cards into diamonds. Flushes become slightly easier. And then we can't skip this, obviously. Minus one hand size. I will discard. This is so close to flush territory. What's a flush worth? 140 points. Two pair is worth 40 points. It's crazy, dude. dude two pair is, is horrible. What am I wasting my time with two pair for? We should be rocking... One pair plus a flush as much as possible. Normally you can't do that because you can't get two of the same suit that are the same value as well, but we bend the rules a little bit here. We bend the rules a little bit. How many spades are left? Ten spades left. I will be fishing for flushes once more, and we should easily be making it through phase one here. Hmm. You know what? I hate to say it. We go two pair mode just because we. I, I see it. It's readily available. That gave us enough anyway. So far, so good. So you're, you're always kind of like 
This is the great thing about a strategy roguelite is there's always give and take, you know? In Slay the Spire, you add a card to your deck, it makes you less likely to draw all the other cards in your deck. It could be good, it could be bad. In Balatro, um, I mean, there's a lot of that. One thing is we're skipping a lot of fights, which means we're not progressively building like jokers that are building our multiplier, but this itself is building our multiplier, and, and so is the green joker, although I realized I was discarding on it, so I should probably stop doing that if we want to build it up. Um, anyway, I'm still figuring out the strategies in the game, so we're still like, uh, I'm, we're early, let's put it that way. I would like to live for a while, so let's just buy a joker like this that makes our, uh, it makes, I'm not going to try to play around it necessarily. It gives us better molt when there's uh, even cards. But I will get more value out of this even accidentally. Like, again, I think you could play... If in some situations, you might want to play this game. Get out the pen and the pad. I'm going to be uh, Alan Turing, you know? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to puzzle all this out. I'm just going to play it like uh, Northern Lion for now. I'm going to go vibe-based. Does this seem good? Does this seem bad? It'll probably hamper our results a little bit. And I'm going to say that's okay. So I'm not going to skip two blinds, because you're here for gameplay, but I will skip this blind in order to get a free Mega Celestial pack, which will also raise our mult on this one. Let's get a little balance going here. Okay, uh, and I'll just be real with you. I'm, I'm incredibly flush-pilled right now. I'm probably discarding some stuff that we could use for relevant turns, but I also... Am unconcerned, but I'm realizing I'm discarding, which is making my green joker so much worse. Because ah, maybe we should just accept the green joker is doing what it can for now, and we could sell it later and build a different joker. Because I, I this appears to be working for us so far. Times 0.2 mult per consecutive hand without playing your most played poker hand, and then this is a two pair enabler. Interesting. Times 0 0.2 mult per consecutive. So playing a wide variety of hands will actually give us advantages that we can strategically deploy. Let's give it a, ch a, a chance. And then we'll be skipping this one, raising the mult, getting a free Mega Celestial pack. It's not free. We gave up the opportunity cost of going through the fight, but I, I, I digress. Let's raise, um, flush is already good, and we want to mix it up, so we want to upgrade in like multiple different types of hands. These planet cards all make other hands better for the entirety of the run. So I'm going to say like, make three of a kind better. And uh, I mean, pair is like so easy, but let's make high card better so that we can use that instead of discards and maybe build green joker, but you got to be careful with that. So you discard two cards for every hand played. I hate to see that. Um, I'm going to play this. Oh, but then you're going to discard my cards. <laughs> of course. Okay, in that case, I'm going to discard so that I can get to a flush, even though it does make our green joker worse. We get a flush, which is our most played hand. So it's not going to build mult. You discarded a pair, you son of a gun! All the boss blinds are they are screwing me, man! It's okay. It's so easy to uh, just get obsessed with the idea of trying to play optimally, when instead we could just play good enough and then move on to the next phase. So I'm trying to build my obelisk right now. We have not played a pair yet. Just make sure you got enough hands to get there. The pair will make the obelisk grow even better. The obelisk and the builder arrive calmly. You get the idea. Most played hand is is got to be flush right now. So let's play two pair. Actually, you know what? We should try to play uh, our glass two and maybe get it out of the deck. It did give us enough. It did not break. Okay, so be it. Still happy enough, okay? One interest per five dollars. So we could build a save build if we want to. Enhances two cards to be bonus cards. Choose a tarot card to be used immediately. Tarot cards appear more often. Allows straights to be made with gaps of one rank. Very powerful, 
but also um, annoying. <laughs> Two, three, five, seven, eight. So it actually works like this. There's not one gap in there. There's two gaps. There's no four in. There's no six. It's good. The problem is it takes up a joker spot. I feel like you don't buy because we're going to be skipping a lot anyway. We don't need to spend money on jokers. We could be generating like interest instead, right? If we're going to be skipping blinds anyway. I'm going to skip both. I'm going to go crazy. Skip the first one. Raise your mults. I guess it doesn't give us interest on that. Skip the second one. Then we get three extra hands for the boss fight. We do have to beat the boss fight, though. <laughs> face cards are drawn face down. Okay, here's what I play. It's a pair that worked very well with Even Stevens. We got lots of hands to work with here. Two, three, four, five, six. Might break our glass too, which would be nice. And then this obelisk is going crazy because we haven't played a flush in so long. That was, that, it did break the two and it was worth like 6,000 points. We just went crazy mode. I guess, you know what's interesting is we have Even Steven. Imagine making a, the, the card that allowed you to have a gap in straights and then playing like a two, four, six, eight, ten straight. That would go insane. I didn't even think about that. That's the, it's the kind of stuff that uh, the the synergistic potentials that make Balatro so intriguing as a pea brain such as myself. I think I will go for plus one hand size. Vouchers are like permanent upgrades. Um, I also feel like we have lots of diamonds in our deck. We have 16 diamonds. If we could get more tarot cards that, that create more diamonds, then this diamond joker could go crazy. And then let's buy the, the Arcana pack. I forget wh what makes diamonds, but we'll figure it out. Lovers is a wild card. Hierophant is bonus card. Chariot is a steel card. I guess I would make a non-diamond into a wild. Okay, so we kind of have a build that we're going around here. We want uh, lots of diamonds, preferably evens. Only play flushes when you really need to pop off. Start with three extra discards. Initial cards and booster packs in the next shop are free. We're going to skip this for sure. I think we play this one, skip the middle one. We're only skipping because of this joker, by the way. We're not doing anything trickier than that. I'm just worried because I don't know. Is there a way to see what my most played hand is? Yes, the number here. So if I play a flush or a two pair, then we will reset our multiplier. I would prefer not to. Let's play uh, a, a single pair with a nine, because then the diamonds will go crazy. And don't play the other pair yet, or, or any other pair. Discard like this. And keep building this green joker if possible, even though we'll probably get rid of it at some point. That wasn't as, as potent as I thought it would be. Flush, flush pair and two pair are all cooked. <laughs> okay, how about a uh, high card? We'll dump this one along with it. High card with uh, three diamonds and a few evens. That's not as good as I needed it to be either. Okay, well, it is what it is, okay? It is what it is. We got three hands left. That's still pretty good. I would play like ace-ace. Let's see what we got left in our deck. We got two twos and two fives. I guess I could have divined that for myself. Two f get rid of the four. We only have one other four in the deck. We're really hoping to get like three of a kind. I think this is going to burn up our obelisk, huh? That was really bad. I think I'm going to lose. How about a flush? At this point, let me look at my run info. Most played hand two pair. We could play as many flushes as we want to. Many diamonds remain in the deck. Many uh, diamonds remain in the deck. How many clubs? Three out of 27. Pretty bad. Spades, S technically seven out of 27. Bit of a crazy play, but 
Let's work on these. Seven, eight, nine, ten. She didn't draw a spade, which is insane. We have seven diamonds, six spades. You're really just going to discard one heart? It worked. <laughs> And then we're, we're almost certainly going to draw a spade that we can play next as well. Holy cow, not that we're going to need it. That was worth 6000 all by itself. I think I need good jokers. I think I'm going down. I don't know if I have the brain power necessary to succeed in the, in the Balatro environment. Plus 15, mult 1 in 8 chance the card is destroyed at the end of a round. Choose a joker. Choose a tarot card. I think we have to go tarot card. We have to try to create diamonds. Cannot be done. Double money? Sure. Sure, I'll, it, we, we could do better, but... To kind of get out of that one for free. I think I will dump... I think I'm going to dump Even Steven by Banana, just because it's, it's easier to use. And it breaks at the end, which is good. And then we'll go next round, skip, because everything is free, and it also makes this better. Oh, but then I gotta at least win this fight first. <laughs> so we can only play one type of hand uh, based on the first hand type we play. So we're gonna make our green joker worse here for sure. How are we looking from a flush standpoint? Pretty bad, huh? Maybe not that bad. Just draw a single spade. It happens. And then just try to play flushes exclusively. I know it's bad for the obelisk, but we have to choose something we can like semi-reliably get. You genius. Please, I was like, tell me there's lots of evens in this. Uh, not so much. 7,000. Just one more flush would probably be good enough. Oh my god, we got there like immediately. Little lucky, but may maybe I should be just leaning into making this like a flush exclusive run. Maybe it's time to pick a lane. And now all the stuff in the shop is free if we want it. So please give us some good stuff. Also made a lot of money on interest. Raise the interest cap to 10. Could be some value there. Plus 20 molt, minus 2 molt per round played. Well, let's start with the, the free Celestial pack. I'm going to raise the value of my full house. I think we have to get rid of this obelisk. I, I don't think I can play around it. I think it's... I think I'm handling it badly. I'm, I'm over committing or under committing. I can't tell which one. Three cards get converted into diamonds. It's the best day of my life. It's exactly what we want to see. And then we get one more card, right? Doubles money. Oh, baby! <laughs> I get that it doesn't quite double because it goes to a maximum of 20, but still. Sell this card to create a free double tag. Tags are things you get when you skip levels. Which is something we do all the time. So hear me out. Sell Obelisk just because I, I can't trust myself with it. Buy this for free. Sell it. We get a free double tag. Next thing we skip, we'll get double the benefit. Buy Popcorn plus 20 mults, at least temporarily. Kind of very similar to our banana. This must be why they're so good together at the movie theater. And then we might as well, I think. It, it'll almost, it'll pay for itself pretty quick. And we go next. And we're on the fifth ante, so we, we only have like a few fights left. After defeating... Oh, this is it! You, you do the first fight, you skip the second one, the shop has two foil jokers, which tend to go insane, and then you're popping. I think I've got it figured out. I'll hit you with a little 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we have a wild card queen, which means we're one club away from an easy flush. That's 8,000 points right there. We got it. We also do have 9, 10, Jack, Queen, King, Ace. That's not how that works. <laughs> We're actually like one ten away from, like a 10 of clubs away from a Royal Flush, but 
That's fine. We'll just play it. Because like, if I discard to try to fish for it, then my green joker gets like weaker over time. But we're probably going to get rid of the green joker anyway, but still. Good. Very good. We made eight interest. Plus one discard, plus 80 chips if it's a three of a kind. We definitely, I, you know what? I mean, we, we've got to spend money. We're still getting close to the interest cap. Let me raise two pair. I tend to use it a lot. I, I overrate two pair. It always seems like when you get it in poker, you're like, Pog, two pair. Then you look at the hierarchy and you're like, oh, it's actually like the third most common valid hand. Honestly, I think we might get straight flushes. I'm willing to buy a Neptune and, and level this up. And I will, I will buy the Jumbo Arcana as well. Three more cards become diamonds. I think this is exactly what we're looking for. There is some free money involved as well, but I think I would rather create three diamonds. Greatly increasing our chances of getting flushes, but particularly straight flushes. Next round, we skip this. We should get two foil jokers in the shop if we beat this boss. Now we lose a dollar per card played. That's a bit of a, it's a slap in the face is what it is. I think we're going to start with discards. But I don't know what to discard. <laughs> so many diamonds. What have I done? Have I, is, the, is it still recording? Okay. What have I done? 21 diamonds and we only drew one. We have three clubs, three spades. There's more spades in the deck. I'm, I'm dumping my clubs. I know that it, it may... I'm dumping my, my hearts as well. No, dump your spades as well. Yeah, this is... I think this is right. Even though it looks bad, I think it's right. It's crazy to me we still don't have a flush. But 7, 8, 9, 10 jack is still pretty good. I mean, the popcorn should carry us for a while. We're just losing so much money. <laughs> I'd really like to win in like three hands if possible. How do we not have a flush, bro? This is at least great for... Do I still have even Stevens? I, stole, I sold even Stevens. This would have gone insane. Still pretty good, honestly. I still don't have a flush. I have a, a full house, which is nice, but... The, how did the diamonds let me down, man? It turns out, uh, it turns out statistics is a lie. Everyone's always telling you to take one statistics class so you understand the practical applications of mathematics. No, no, no. It's all made up, bro. There's only two outcomes. Either it happens or it doesn't. Everything's a 50-50. Do get it twisted. Plus two chips for every dollar you have. Plus, this, we have like a finance build, okay. Plus two chips for every dollar you have. And then also plus 30 chips. So this is like a hundred chips that for many hands is going to get multiplied like realistically by like at least five. Double the rank of the lowest card held in hand to mult and it's plus 30 chips. I don't know how to think about this, man. I think we definitely love Greedy Joker with our diamonds. The popcorn's still good. The Green Joker is given 11 mult. Am I really going to say no to all of these? You're giving times 2.5 mult, which is also... We need something that adds to mult. Wait, we have it. <laughs> it's everything else. It would be nice to have like one... Like one chip enabler. I think I'm going to sell the popcorn. I think I'm going to buy the bull. Now, I may have made a mistake here. Again, I may, I'm a, a combo-based player. I just realized we, we don't even have time to rebuild our econ after purchasing the thing because this is like the final boss of the demo, but still. Forces one card to always be selected. Uh, that's pretty bad because we have a straight... If this isn't selected, can I just, I, I guess I could discard this and this, and then it'll force another card to be selected. And it's something we can work with. Two, three, four. 
three, four, five, six, seven. This is a little spicy. Let's let's see how the chips enabled us here. Let's see how they helped us. It's going to be close. You have selected a wild card. We can play a flush. That's a big one. That who would have thought that wild card would come in handy? Probably everybody. That's why it, it was actually like incentivized in the first place. Fair enough. <sighs> Okay, I get that we have three of a kinds, but I'm, I'm more than happy to simply play another flush. That's very diamond rich, obviously, so our greedy joker is going to be even better. We're so close. Fours have been selected. We could do two pair. Let me look at this deck. We got 12 diamonds left. What's two pair worth? 120. Two pair with two diamonds associated with it. And then dump this useless two. I don't think this is going to get us there, but I think it's going to get us so where our next hand is like almost guaranteed to get us there. CEO of, of mathematics, I was completely wrong. We got there and we beat the boss. <laughs> so that's the Balatro demo. It went a little quicker than it often goes because we skipped half of the fights because we got a joker that allowed us to get a benefit for skipping progressively. But uh, we're going to run back another one right after this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Wishlist the game. I'll put a link in the video description to do so. It's not a sponsored video. The, the creator of the game is in the community. Um, but with or without our support, I think that this is going to make some waves, okay? Is my opinion, at least. So, I don't know why I wanted to say join the, the Mafia here. M7, F7A, I don't think that's really how that works. But either way, check it out for yourself. Click the like button if you enjoyed the episode. Play the Balatro demo yourself. It's available on Steam. It's, it's a rich demo, people. It is. And I'll see you next time. See ya!